Michael Morales Torres para Lucha Libre Online, la marca número uno de Pro Wrestling y Combat Sports en el mundo. Mi invitada especial, ex campeona mundial de las Knockouts de Impact Wrestling, la mujer posiblemente hasta el día de hoy con el shock más grande en la historia de Impact Wrestling. Taylor Wilde llega aquí y también host de Wild On, así que lleguenle, lleguenle, escuchen el podcast que está excelente. Taylor Wilde llega aquí nuevamente a Lucha Libre Online. Taylor, it is an absolute honor to have you as our guest. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm great. I really am great. How are you doing? All good in Puerto Rico. No hurricanes. So I guess crossing fingers, that's Ooh. something good. <laughs> Taylor, okay. you all are all around the place. Uh, you were in the last pay-per-view. You were in the last tapings. You are constantly wrestling. Uh, but you're also the host of your own podcast. Uh, you've interviewed your own sisters inside the wrestling industry, but you touch different topics. Uh, what can you tell us about your podcast? Where can people listen to it? What's coming up next? How did it start it, this journey? Sure. Uh, so I had been retired from professional wrestling for about 10 years. In that time, uh, so I should say, I retired at 25 years old. I had started at 18. So at 25, I was exhausted. <laughs> um I know I was, I was, you know, I was young, but you start young and then whatever. So during those 10 years, I became a firefighter where I live in Toronto. And uh, basically when the pandemic started, I caught the wrestling bug again. And I was very fortunate that my impact family still had a place for me at home. So while I was waiting um, as being a Canadian and COVID having, you know, major lockdowns, I thought, well, this is a really good time. I've always wanted to tell my story, but writing is, you know, it's really hard. It's a, a skill um, that I don't really have. I'm pretty active and I'm hyper. And <laughs> uh, I thought, what better way to tell my story uh, through my sisters in the ring? And the difference between my podcast, which is also featured on YouTube, um, is yes, I'm talking to all the women in today's industry who are at the top of their game, but I'm telling it through the eyes of a woman that's lived the same life. So truthfully, we talk very little about wrestling itself. Uh, the whole thing that life. makes it, yeah, the wrestling podcast is the fact that I'm a wrestler and they're a wrestler. So my whole point of this podcast was let's feature on the human version of these amazing women. They're moms, they're artists, they're entrepreneurs, they're business women, they're academics, they're musicians. So I want to feature that side. And then I also get really personal because we're girlfriends. So, you know, we talk about past traumas. We talk about dating. We talk about marriage. We talk about all the things you're probably not going to get outside of Uh, you're not going to get at any of the wrestling podcasts because these are my sisters like you touched on. And uh, so Wild On is available across every major podcast platform, basically anywhere you enjoy podcasts. We drop an episode every Wednesday because we get wild on Wednesdays. And every episode is also available on YouTube. And that's basically kind of the focus now is I've learned very quickly that people love to hear what I have to say, but they're way more interested in watching me. Uh, so please check it out. Every Wednesday we get wild. So Wild Done is available. Let me say this in Spanish. Está disponible Wild Done en todas las plataformas de audio como Spotify, Apple Podcasts, entre muchas otras. También está disponible en YouTube, así que échale un ojo a uh, Wild Done, un podcast excelente. Uh, Taylor, let's go to that historic date. Highly probable you've been asked this like, a thousand and one times, so let's make it a one thousand and two times. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, June 24, 2008, if I'm not mistaken. It's Orlando, Florida, uh, and that's the date where you slay the beast. Uh, an undefeated <laughs> awesome Kong in TNA back then was the knockout champion, and nobody, uh, absolutely nobody, basically could have stopped her. Uh, then Taylor Wilde happened. How did that opportunity land in your hands? I mean, you work pretty hard for it, but how did that moment happen? Well, I, in 2006, I signed to WWE right when I turned 20 and I was in the developmental system for about a year. Um, and in that time, if nothing kind of came to fruition for you after a year, they were, they, they made their way with you. That was it. So I decided, okay, That's it. I did it. I did what I wanted to do. I'm going to go back to university. 
And I've known Scott Demore since I started wrestling when I was 17 years old. I used to go down to Border City Wrestling, BCW in Windsor, his promotion. And I've always had a really amazing working relationship. He's a good human. Uh, I consider him a member of my extended family. Uh, he gave me a call and he said, you know, we're really we're growing the knockouts division. We're doing something different. Uh, we'd love to have you down for a tryout. I had a tryout. All the stars aligned. Here I am being thrust into the knockouts division as a fan, which was, uh, you know, a, a very unique way to establish a wrestler. And like you said, uh, on June 24th, uh, 2008, I beat Awesome Kong and became, uh, I believe, maybe not still, but at that time, I was the youngest knockouts world champion in um, TNA history. So, so you got uh tired uh what changed uh, you were in your peak you were at the highest point of your career you yeah. were a fighter afterwards but what changed like uh was it you know wrestling it's a complicated world people sometimes get burned out it's a stressful world uh was that something that happened to you or is this something completely different Well, it was like a, an amalgamation of everything that encompasses being a professional wrestler at that level. So what our listeners might not know is the fact that when you're on a TV program with any major company, you are on the road more than you are at home. And in my early 20s, like from 20 to 25, what a blast, you know, what a blessing. All I got to do was travel and perform and be with my friends. But, uh, you know, in the same regard, I didn't really have a home. Like, of course, I had a home, but you're always on the road. Nothing feels like home anymore. Hotels don't feel like home. Your home doesn't feel like home. Uh, you miss major events. You miss weddings. You miss funerals. You miss birthday parties. It's really hard to have true relationships because you're always gone. Like, you have your wrestling friends. But, you know, you, you need your family and friends at home. And I was really fortunate. Like, I started training at 17. And by the time I was just turned 20, I had my first major contract. So to be on the road for five years in your formative years, 20 to 25, that's a high rate of burnout when you're really just trying to figure out who the hell you are. Uh, but during my time in TNA, what an experience, because... I believe what the knockouts did in that time really changed the trajectory of women's wrestling. And I was fortunate to be, you know, right in the center of it. So after five years, you know, I felt like I kind of did all the things I could do in the women's division with the knockouts. So it, it was a bit of personal burnout, but I also kind of felt like, well, there's really nothing else for me. So it was, um, I caught a lot of flack for leaving at 25, more from my colleagues than anything else. Because like you said, they're like, what are you doing? You're 25, you're at the peak of your career. And uh, mentally I was like, no guys, I'm, I'm done. I, I need something else. And I never wanted to be that person in the locker room. I never wanted to be burnt out. I always wanted to be somebody Who, who brought light and brought energy into a room. And I was, I lost it. I was out of it. So. Do you got that spark back once you made your return to the wrestling industry? Do you feel happy back? Oh my God. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Like this, this was my journey. Um, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to pretty much anybody, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I had to go through and have some really tough, humbling experiences over the past 10 years. And I feel like I'm coming back to wrestling. This Taylor Wilde is the most authentic version of myself. I'm self-aware. I'm confident. I'm happy and I know who I am now. So now when you see me on camera and you see that happiness, that is truly coming from the inside out. So uh, last time we spoke, it's been a while, uh, yeah. but the last time we spoke, you mentioned out of record, hey, uh, you may tune in to pro wrestling in general soon because you may see me on TV And I didn't, you know, what, what does she mean? Is she's going to land? She's going back to Impact? Is she going to WWE? What was going to happen? And you landed back on Impact Wrestling. Uh, the prophecy came through, basically. But let's study this two sides of the story. So you met Scott Diamore on a different role back in 2005, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, a completely different person 
right now in 2022. Super busy, but always time for his talent. Oh, he always has time for his talent and the people he appreciates. So how's been your experience with the two versions of Scott the Amor, the wrestler, trainer, and now one of the most brilliant minds inside the wrestling industry? Well, I think you really nailed something there. He's extremely busy. Uh, but for me, as a, like, um, I would say Scott always has people that he considers family. And once you're in his inner circle, that's it. Like that's, that's how I approach the wrestling world. There's only one version of me. When my music hits, sure, I'm Taylor Wilde, the wrestler. But when I step outside that ring and I step back outside the curtain, I'm still the same person. So to me, there's only one version of Scott. And, um, you know, I, I'm really thankful for the relationship I have with him. He's a really good person. He looks after his own. And it's a really, really beautiful place to work. Like it's, it's a family atmosphere. And at this point in my career, if I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be there. I'm choosing to do this because I want to have fun and I want to work with the women and the men that impact wrestling has today. And I really believe in the product and Scott believes in this product. So it's, it's, it's perfect synchronicity to me. We're the same people we were when I met him when I was 17 years old and he was however old. How did you manage to work that transition from being a firefighter in Canada to basically travel every single week again? Well, I'm lucky the impact schedule is uh, a little different now than it was uh, when I was in TNA. But uh, in Canada, you do shift work as a firefighter. So you work 24 hour shifts and you basically work seven to eight days a month. So it's actually like a, a perfect union. Don't get me wrong, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm also a single mom and I have my podcasting YouTube channel and I've got my beautiful friends and family. I, you know, try to put as much time in as possible, but you know, I, I think it's that age old, the more you do, the more you can do. And I, I try to be really conscientious of burnout and looking after myself, but life is really short. I'm, you know, I'm here for a, I don't want to say I'm here for a, a good time not a long time or whatever that is because that's not true um but I, I just think there's there's balance with everything and um you know I'm, I'm a single woman and I'm a mom and I'm doing what I love so it doesn't feel like work not, neither of my jobs feel like work don't get me wrong you we all have our days but uh I feel like I have a pretty pretty blessed existence I'll be honest but I've worked my ass for it didn't just fall into my lap <laughs> Plus, your hair, your hair is almost always on point, so that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Taylor, let's go to Bound for Glory, the biggest event on Impact Wrestling during the whole year. This time it was in New York. You had the opportunity to compete in that Call Your Shot uh, call it match. It was uh, a surprising ending, to, to say the least. Uh <laughs> How did you, you know, how was that experience for you having the opportunity to compete with basically everyone from all different eras inside the same ring? It was pretty crazy. It was the best because I've been in the business for so long. Like I'm branching on 17, 18 years now on and off. Um, so the, it's like, it was like a big family reunion for me. There was people in the ring, like your Matt Cardona's. Uh, that I was in deep south with um, 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 what is he calling himself these days uh, uh, he was Curtis uh, dirty dirty Django is that what we're calling dirty him Dan today dirty Django dirty that's Django it. thank you I hadn't seen him since I was in WWE it, you know that's been like 15 years uh, I was in TNA with a lot of those people you know uh, Bully Ray I haven't seen him in, in 10 years so Uh, it, it was a really interesting dichotomy of new age and old age. And, and then, of course, Tommy Dreamer. Um, we've had this really amazing uh, life experience. The universe keeps bringing us back together because if it wasn't for Tommy Dreamer, I actually probably wouldn't have the career uh, I have. He hired me in WWE and then Scott brought me to TNA and then Scott and Tommy kind of brought me back to what is now Impact. So being in the ring was just truly like a big family reunion i couldn't have asked for a better way to come back to the company 
So I want to say something in Spanish, if you allow me. Uh, Sin City Showdown va a ser el 21 de octubre y 22 de octubre en Las Vegas, Nevada. Hay mucho latino, mucha afición latina en esa zona. Así que el 21 y 22 de octubre, si estás en Las Vegas, en Samstown, en Samstown date la vuelta a King Park Racing Inter de Sin City Showdown y créanme, todos los shows últimamente están, que estallan, se están vendiendo las millas. Así que adquiere tus boletos ahora mismo en Ticketmaster.com. Eh, también puedes ver la programación semanal de Impact los jueves a las 8 de la noche, hora del este, por Access TV y por el canal de YouTube de Impact Wrestling de igual forma. Así que échale un ojo, que está excelente. Taylor también tiene su mercancía disponible en ProWrestlingTees.com. Al igual que tiene su cambio disponible, solamente tienen que eh, visitar su, su perfil en Instagram y ahí van a conseguir todo. Eh, let me look for it. The exact name is Ray Real Taylor Wild. Así la pueden encontrar como Real Taylor Wild en Instagram. Así que denle en el follow y está allí disponible para todos ustedes. Uh, before we go to our last question, due to time limits, I just wanted to thank you very much for your time. It's been an absolute honor to have you back here at Lucha Libre Online. Taylor, last but not least, and I need to ask this question. Yeah. Jordan Grace and Masha Slamovich tear the house down. It was hands down one of my favorite matches in Impact's history, male or, male or female. Like to uh -huh. me, it was it was really solid. They tell a story, but now the champ needs a challenger. Uh, <laughs> you've been a former knockout champion. You've been a two time as well knockout tag team champion. Is the title something uh, always in your picture or you're more focused on different things right now? I'm here for everything. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. I don't know how much gas I have in the tank. I'm gunning for absolutely every opportunity that comes my way because why not? Let's be real. I'm, I might be an older veteran, but I, I, I can still go. So don't get me wrong. Knockout title is always in my line of vision. <laughs> It's pretty interesting. And for the fans out there, highly probable soon you will see Taylor Wild in action. This And it's Thursday. It can be this one. It can be the next one. Just make sure you tune in because it's going to be special. Uh, Taylor, to you, to Ross, and to the whole Impact Wrestling team, thank you for the opportunity today. It's been an absolute honor to have you back. Always wishing you success, success in your career and in your personal life. And let's wrap this up. Pero en español, Taylor Wilde y Michael Morales Torres para Lucha Libre Online, la marca número uno de Pro Wrestling y Combat Sports en el mundo. Será hasta la próxima.